Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another Exhumed movie review. Today we are talking about Spider Baby. Of course, as like almost all of my Exhumed movie reviews are, this movie was suggested by Macabrella, the queen of Exhumed movie reviews. So thank you to Macabrella and all of my other creepy patron peeps for your support of my channel. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description. Directed by Jack Hill and starring Lon Chaney Jr., Beverly Washburn, and Jill Banner. Spider Baby takes place in a dilapidated rural mansion where the last generation of the degenerate inbred Mary family lives with the inherited curse of a disease that causes them to mentally regress from the age of 10 or so on as they physically develop. The family chauffeur looks out for them and covers up their indiscretions. Trouble comes when greedy distant relatives and their lawyer arrive to dispossess the family of its home. This was the directorial debut of Jack Hill. Um, and the film was shot in the summer of 1964, but didn't actually end up premiering until December of 1967 due to the original producer's bankruptcy when the movie was finished. And on top of that, the movie had so many different titles that it went by, which I'm going to list right now. Um, they included The Liver Eaters, Attack of the Liver Eaters, Cannibal Orgy, and The Maddest Story Ever Told. The latter of the two are included in the theme song that plays in the opening credits of the movie. Sit round a fire with this cup of brew, a fiend and a werewolf on each side of you. This cannibal orgy is strange to behold, and the maddest story ever told. Alright, so let's get into what I liked about Spider Baby. What I liked about so first and foremost, the story is so unique. This is like it's, this is just a story that I've not seen in any <laughs> horror movie that I've ever seen before and for it to have been made all the way back in 1967 is crazy like I've never seen anything like this before um it's definitely in a good way it's definitely in a good way the the cast did a really good job especially like the main three children who are played by Beverly Washburn Jill Banner and Sid Haig especially the two girls um you can tell like they're definitely developmentally they're younger than Sid Haig so he's <laughs> mentally younger than the girls but like physically speaking like older um <laughs> So he, you know, he acts more infantile than the two girls and the two girls are more like, they give off like kind of like toddler vibes, but they did a really good job at like selling that, like the, the way they like carried themselves and like moved their bodies and their facial expressions. You could really tell that they, you know, they just did a really good job at selling the otherwise kind of crazy plot. I really like the way the, the movie was set up. Um, I feel like usually with this type of movie, it would be like just a creepy build up until the very end when shit hits the fan, but they start off the movie with one of the girls murdering somebody and then you don't see any other kills. There's no more kills until the end of the movie, which I thought was a really interesting choice. I feel like it really set the tone for the movie. So it was just like, there's no mistaking, like <laughs> there's no mistaking that there's something wrong with this, these children with this family. So it's, it's basically like after that first murder, you're just waiting for the second shoe to drop for the rest of the movie. And I think it worked really well, especially when the distant relatives and the lawyer shows up, you're just like, how long are these people gonna last before these kids kill them all? Now let's move on to what I didn't like about Spider Baby. What I didn't like, really, there's only really one thing I didn't like. Um, and it was just something that was kind of like unexplained. So there's a part in the movie where the distant relatives and the lawyer show up and they decide that they're staying for dinner. So for played by uh, Chaney, drum up a, a dinner and the distant relatives and everybody find out that they have a very weird diet. Um, and really only one of them makes sense. There's the one girl who likes to play spider. Um, and she has a fascination with bugs and things like that. So it makes sense that she kind of has a peculiar diet. Like if she is, you know, in her head always playing spider, like obviously she would want to eat bugs. They ask one of the, the relatives like, well, maybe, you know, if you don't want to eat the rabbit that we prepared for you, if you want to eat a salad and they really, they just plop weeds 
onto her plate. It looks like a, a freaking like tumbleweed, like out of a Western. And that, that just didn't make any sense. I was like, it doesn't make any sense why they would all eat like that. You know, like, <laughs> or was it like all a ruse because they, they eat people or something like that? I don't know. It just, that part just didn't make any sense. And it seemed very Adam's family and it just didn't fit with this movie. I didn't really understand. Was Spider Baby worth it? Was Spider Baby worth it? Yes. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it a four out of five. On IMDb, it has a solid seven out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes, it has a 100% critic score and a 76% audience score. And then on Letterboxd, it has a 3.6 out of five. You can watch Spider Baby on Amazon, so I'll leave an affiliate link to that in the description box. Of course, there's no pressure to use that link, but if you do, it does help out the channel a little bit. All right, so if you've seen Spider Baby, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. Of course, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday, and you can ring that notification bell down there as well to be notified every time a video of mine goes live. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay strange. Bye.